Hello everyone, my name is Adrian Dominic, a BSN Social Studies second year student. And today we'll be talking about Applied Anthropology. What is Anthropology? It is the study of people throughout the world, their evolutionary history, how they behave, adapt to different environments, communicate, and socialize with one another. The study of anthropology is concerned both with the biological features that makes us human and with social aspects. Anthropologists are the people who studies anthropology. Origin of Anthropology Anthropology traces its roots to the ancient Greek historical and philosophical writings about human nature and their realization of human society. Anthropologists generally regard Herodotus, a Greek historian who lived in the 400 BC as the first thinker to write widely on concepts that would later become central to anthropology. He, he referred to Greece as the dominant culture of the West and Persia as the dominant culture of the East. This type of division between white people of European descent and other peoples established the mode that most anthropological writing would later adopt. Who is the father of anthropology? Franz Boas, seen as the father of American anthropology, a German born American anthropologist and a pioneer of modern anthropology. His work is associated with movements known as historical particularism and cultural relativism. Boas believed each culture was separate and unique. Etymology of Anthropology The term anthropology ostensibly is, is a produced compound of Greek words anthropos, meaning human being, and the word logi logia, meaning study. Importance of Anthropology Anthropology provides the possibility to study every aspect of human existence. It is the window into the unknown. Anthropology provides the answers to our questions about ourselves, our past, present, and future. Anthropology helps to connect everyone from around the globe. Society and Culture Different societies have different cultures. However, it is important not to confuse the idea of culture with society. A culture represents the beliefs and practices of a group, while society represents the people who share those beliefs and practices. Neither society nor culture could exist without the other. Culture and society are intricately related. A culture consists of the objects of society, whereas society consists of people who share a common culture. When the terms culture and society first acquired their current meanings, most people in the world work and live small groups in the locale. Evolution Anthropology traces its roots to ancient Greek historical and philosophical writings about human nature and the organization of human society. Areas in the study of anthropology First, we have 
physical anthropology. Second, we have cultural anthropology. Third, we have linguistic anthropology. Lastly, we have archaeology. Physical anthropology is a scientific discipline concerned, concerned with the biological and behavioral aspects of human beings. Physical anthropologists focus on the evolution of human anatomy and physiology rather than culture. Cultural anthropology focuses on the study of cultural variation among humans and is in contrast to social anthropology, which perceives cultural variation as a subset of anthropological constant. Cultural anthropologists study each such topics as how people they're living, how people interact with each what people hold, and what institution organize people in society. Linguistic anthropology seeks to understand human language, written and non-written, spoken and non-verbal. The study of how languages changes over time is termed historical linguistics. Archaeology it is, study, is the study of the ancient and recent human past through material remains. It offers a unique perspective on human history and culture. These remains can be any objects that people created, modified, are used. Portable remains are usually called, called artifacts. Artifacts include tools, clothing, and decorations. Non-portable remains such as pyramids or post holes are called features. Development of Anthropology how cultures change, how anthropologists can inform and transform the process of international development. Human development is about expanding the richness of human life rather than simply the richness of economy in which human beings live. A model of change promoted by United Nations that emphasizes improvements in human welfare such as health, education, and personal security. Improvements in human welfare will lead to overall development of the nation. Sustainable development is the idea that human societies must live and meet their needs without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. The official definition of sustainable development was developed for the first time in Brundtland Report in 1987. Sustainable development is a way of organizing society so that it can exist in the long term. A direct change that involves forms of development are not environmentally destructive and are financially supportable by the host country or environmentally by the earth as a whole. International development, also called as global development, is a broad concept denoting the idea that societies and countries have differing levels of economic or human development on an international scale. The process of directed change that focuses on improving the welfare of people, so-called underdeveloped, underdeveloped countries, often through promoting economic growth. Applied Anthropology Anthropology put to use 
It is any kind of anthropological research that is done to solve particular problems. This means that there are stakeholders and clients who stand to gain or lose from the project. Examples of Applied Anthropology First, we have Medical Anthropology Second, we have Forensic Anthropology Medical Anthropology A branch of Social and Cultural Anthropology It, it is concerned with a wide range of biological phenomena, especially in relation to health and disease. Definition according to Foster and Anderson A biological biocultural discipline concerned with both the biological and sociocultural aspect of human behavior and particularly with the ways in which the two interacted throughout human history to influence health and disease. Forensic Anthropology Forensic anthropology is a special subfield of physical anthropology that involves applying skeletal analysis and techniques in archaeology to solve solving crimi criminal cases. Forsen for forensic anthropology includes the identification of skeletal, decomposed, or unidentified human remains. Thank you for watching. And that's for today's video. Thank you for watching and see you soon on the next video. Peace. Started from a DM, now she wanna see him. If you wanna link, baby, gotta be.